Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which should be pretty much everyone, make sure you check out my last video where I talk a little bit about myself and why I'm here. But today, I figured since I'm a photographer, we would do a little what's in my camera bag. Da -da -da -da. I just wanna share a little bit of my favorite things to use and some pros and cons of different equipment. So first, I have my actual camera bag, which is this beautiful backpack, which looks very big in comparison to my head right now. Uh, this is the Lyra backpack by Camrit. I also will link everything in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Uh, this bag I've had for almost three years, and it is a very durable, trusty camera bag. I prefer a backpack just because it's easier to take everywhere. It's a little bulky, but I feel like you get used to it. Um, it has some front pockets to just keep some cords and extra stuff, but the main situation in the middle, which I took everything out of it so it wouldn't fall, but in the middle it opens and I keep on my, I had two camera bodies I keep in here, three lenses, two flashes, all my chargers, and it all fits in here super easily. And there's like some zipper pockets inside. And in the back, there is a pocket for like laptop, put my iPad in here, things like that. And it has this handy little Thing that you can like put on a roller bag if you're at the airport or whatever. I've actually never used this because this thing is always so heavy when I go places. I load it up with everything I possibly can. I just, it would be so top heavy. It would just fall. Um, it's got a little bit of pockets on the side too. The only negative things I would say about this bag is that I wish it had a water bottle holder on the side. Because like when you're shooting a wedding, it's like you need water on you, you get thirsty. And this is not convenient. But other than that, I guess sometimes the zipper gets stuck down here when I open it a little too hard. But other than that, I love this backpack. I highly recommend it. It comes in three beautiful shades. I like the black. So yeah, that's my backpack. Next up is my two camera bodies. I have, um, and this camera I've had much longer, this is a Canon 6D and it's kind of become my backup camera. I don't use it as much anymore, but it is convenient because it has a Wi-Fi on it. So when I need to like take a photo from my phone, I can Wi-Fi it to this camera, which I love. My other camera body is the Canon 5D Mark III. I've also had this for quite a few years. Um, this one does not have Wi-Fi, which is a little upsetting, but kind of why I keep the other one around because sometimes you gotta take a self-portrait and you need to take it from your phone. Uh, they're super nice with like the screen on top, big full-size screen on the back. I know that there's like newer models of this, but honestly, you cannot go wrong. And eventually I will upgrade, but for now, this will do. Both the Canon 5D Mark III and the Canon 6D are both full frame sensors. So this sensor is gonna be bigger versus a crop sensor, which uh, goes into the price of the camera. So full frame cameras are more expensive. This camera, I also have this type of strap on it which my friend Jill gave to me many moons ago and I love it and I will never not use it because this is just, just easier for me. It's really your preference. Like, I like this, sometimes I let it dangle, which is probably bad, but it feels secure where if something happened, it's still, it's not going anywhere and it's not like tugging on my neck. I don't personally think I'm ever gonna be one of those girls that rocks like the, the harness with the two cameras. For one, I feel like they look, I don't like them personally. I think they look kind of funny. And then also they're just like, the cameras are both hanging and I feel like I would be knocking them into doors or knocking them into the wall because I already do that all the time. So it would just be a liability. So I will never be that girl, but if you are that girl, good for you. I'm sure it's cute on you. It would not be on me. I also 
get all of my Canon equipment off of the Canon website because I get refurbished equipment a lot, which is basically like buying brand new, but it's been used, but they clean it and they give it to you as if it was brand new and it is comes at a cheaper price, which is usually nice. Next up is my lenses. I currently have three that I rotate through, but two of them I use more than the other. The first one is the Canon 50mm 1.4 lens. Just a, she's a, a light little thing. This is like the most trustworthy, amazing lens I've ever used. This is the second one I've had of this. This one I've probably had at least like six years and it is still crisp, it's still beautiful. Prime lenses are amazing. This is like a mid-range, there's a cheaper 50 millimeter and like a way more expensive, which I would love to get. But this is like maybe in the $500 price range, which isn't bad for the such good quality that it has. I use this to shoot portraits, I shoot lifestyle, I shoot landscape type of things, I shoot product. I shot sports with this, like, I've, this is so versatile, you can do literally everything with it. But this is definitely like my go-to, trustworthy, throw it on and it's gonna give me great pictures and, and it's very light on your wrist. This next lens is the one I use probably the least, but is the Canon 16 to 35 2.8 lens. This one is a super wide angle lens and it has a zoom. So go in and out, 16 to 35. Uh, this one I use a lot for like really big group shots, especially when you're like in a tight space and you can't back up very far. Uh, I shot real estate with it because it goes so wide. I mainly got this lens because I wanted to travel and do all that stuff and like going to New York City, trying to take a photo of like the buildings and get the entire building all the way up to the top. Like you need a wide angle lens, like trying to use my 50 unless I'm far enough away, it's just too close and you didn't really capture the whole scene. So I do love that for this lens. It's just probably the one I use the least, which is probably unfortunate. My last and favorite and newest lens is the Canon 70 to 200 2.8 beautiful baby. This thing has become my favorite lens and I literally shoot everything with it. I don't care what it is. I'm going to make this work. It is so clear and so crisp and it has like the image stabilization on it. So the pictures are just, oh my God, amazing. This, I originally would use this type of lens when I shot for Iowa football, so you could get like across the field. And now like weddings, oh my gosh, you can literally shoot from the back and it looks like you're standing up front with the couple like zooming in on the rings. So this one is so versatile, the makes for beautiful portraits, the background drops out so beautiful, it's so crisp. And the only con is it weighs a ton. And after a whole day of taking photos, your wrist is just like, ugh, it is so heavy, but it's okay, it's worth it. It's a beautiful baby. It's a little pricey, but well worth it, in my opinion. The next things I keep in my camera bag are, oh, my cat went by, are my flashes. This flash is a Godox, what is it called? Zoom L-I on times R2, I'm saying this totally wrong. This Godox flash I got probably like a year ago because my other flash just gave out on me after eight strong years. But I love this flash because it has the actual screen on the back where my old one just had buttons and you're just guessing things. This one is so handy. It is so powerful. There's so many different settings. I mostly shoot going straight up. A lot of times it bounces amazingly. Straight on is like, we love that harsh reception light. It's, this is a great investment. Probably like the best flash I've ever 
used and it's so light and compact. Fits in my camera bag super easy. And the best part is it has a rechargeable battery. So you never have to buy actual batteries. My old flash was actual batteries and it would just eat those things alive and it became so expensive to keep up and buy really nice batteries. So this is the best thing in the entire world and highly recommend getting a flash like this. My other flash I got more recently, just kind of to play around with, I got a Lumi Cube or Loom Cube. I don't actually know what it's called, but this is technically I think made for video, but at night and when you don't want the actual flash and you just want like luminant light, this is so beautiful and it's surprisingly strong for how tiny it is. It also, you can take the cover off. I'll turn it on, blind you. Okay, that didn't, okay, it's only on like 10%. So you can like change um, the coloring so it's more white or more yellow and change like the strength of it. And this also charges with just like a little charging cord. And it is so thin and honestly a great investment. Just something that good extra light to have, even in certain shoots when I'm using the flash on my camera and I need like a little light from the side, like you could set it up over here or have someone holding it like out of frame and it kind of can help add some extra light. It also has a mount on the bottom so you can mount it to the top of your camera. The next things I keep in my backpack are my MacBook, my iPad, and my calendar planner situation. Obviously, I need this thing with me everywhere I go, editing, all that good stuff. iPad, greatest invention ever. And when you're just on the go, it's just so much easier to get out than busting out your laptop on the airplane and doing small things. And my planner, I love this thing so much. I think I'm probably the only person that still writes in an actual planner. I found that, I mean, I keep things in my phone, but I found that if I am only keeping like a daily list in my phone, I just delete it without actually doing it. And when I write it down in pen, I'm forced to actually do it or else I look at it and shame that <laughs> it's not crossed off. And this is like the cutest planner ever. Like, look at January. Look at March. Highly recommend this. It's so cute. Every year I buy planners from this company called Bando, I think. I will link it. But their planners are the cutest. They have stickers and all so much space to write in. So, so that's all the camera equipment I use. For the most part, I do carry all of the lenses and both camera bodies with me on all of my shoots unless it's like super specific and quick and I'm like let me just slap this one right on and go. Uh, I don't always carry like my laptop and stuff on me just a lot unless I'm going somewhere but it's super convenient. I highly recommend this bag. I love it. It's still sturdy. It's going strong and unless I find something better. This is where it's at. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check the description box. I'm going to link everything I have there. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Comment below. I love to give advice on camera equipment. I feel like I have a lot of useless knowledge on it. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and see you later. Bye!